CSS positioning in 60 seconds. Position static is the default, so you rarely ever declare this unless you're overriding something you've done previously. Position relative is almost exactly the same, but it opens up the top, right, bottom, and left properties, allowing you to offset the element from where it is in the natural flow of the document. While we can move it around with those properties, the elements around it act like it's still in its original place. Position absolute will pull an element out of the flow of the document, meaning other elements around it act like it's not actually there anymore, and once again we can use the top, right, bottom, and left properties. Now those properties are no longer relative to where the element was in the flow, but it is now relative to the element's containing block. What's a containing block? The nearest ancestor, which has a position other than static on it. Then we have position fixed, which is similar to position absolute in that it pulls it out of the flow, but it's fixed to the viewport now, so it will stay in the same place as the page scrolls, meaning you can use it to make one of those annoying social sharing things for your blog. Lastly, we have position sticky, which keeps things in the normal flow, but it will stick, and this can be useful for navigations at the top of the page or fun effects like this.